Hello everybody, this is Elijah Keating for WisdomSeekers.net. This is my logo, the Phoenix Rising, the Phoenix Rampant. This is for the 27th of September, 2023. And it's going to be another short one. But the first two cards are really pretty and interesting, very, very important ones actually. I don't know which one is the most important one to start with. So I'll start with the one that I pulled out first, the sun. And I use the sun as my joy card. Not happy, but joy. The energy of constantly feeling joy. It's not an up, it's not a down. It's just that knowing that things are what they're supposed to be. We may have ups, we may have downs emotionally. We may be unhappy, or we may be happy. There's that sense of rightness that goes through our whole system when we know we're on the right path. And the next is the star. That's the feminine part of the, of, the, of the Godhead, whatever the Godhead is. And uh, I don't even try to figure out what God is because in my mind, God is so big, so much, we cannot even begin to comprehend. And he definitely isn't a white, white old man with a white beard, <laughs> or an old man with a white beard, whatever color he may be. He could be green, you know, because <laughs> I, I do understand in certain planets there are blue people and there's green people. And in my meditations, I have seen people who look like birds. I have seen people who are blue. I've seen green. So the color of a, of a person, honestly, is irrelevant. But the feminine agency or the masculine agency or the neutral agency is all encompassed in the Godhead. For the 27th, it is the feminine energy we are working with. And the feminine energy is inclusive. It would like you to be part of whatever we're doing. And the next card, thank God, I, I didn't look at them before because I have no idea how to read it, but let's figure out what it says. So the next card is the Seven of, of Pentacles. And I'm going to read it this way. We've been going through hay and high water for couple of decades. I know back in 87 they had that, I think it was 87, we had that uh, that get together. Most people who are watching this will have been alive there at that time. But I started back in the in 70s, 74, 75 and we were still doing the same thing. I think it goes back a couple of generations when, or centuries when we decided to try to, to live through this, through this uh, ending times to the new beginning times and live in the physical body. And what this card is saying, this, the uh, Seven of Pentacles, is that we put in the effort, we are going to reap the rewards. We are reaping the rewards. The the uh, according to Dolores Cannon in O three is when the the third dimension and the fifth dimensional planets started to pull apart from each other. We're at a, a even more intense period, and with we've made it so far, we're going to make it because the next card is the Princess of Pentacles, and the Princess of Pentacles surrounds herself with beauty and love. And we're going to use pentacles as abundance rather than money. And the next two cards reiterate the same thing. It's the ace of pentacles, which is abundance in all forms. The physical abundance, more than the spiritual abundance, but there are a lot of spiritual indicators in, in that card as well. And then we have the ten of cups, which goes with the, which is a card of happy. So we are getting to a place where we're allowed to have happy, which means, because you can't maintain happy constantly, that we were going to have ups and downs. But that's fine. That's part of that's part of living, that's part of being human, and we are 
at this point still human. I do believe we're moving into meta-human. I know there's a name for it. I don't know what it is because I didn't like it. So I just coined my own meta-human, more than human. And uh, with that will come the Knight of Wands. And again, that's old information coming back as new. And uh, we will should be remembering more than we used than we have had in the past. We should remember more that than what we had in the had remembered because we're moving to a higher vibration. And when I say remember, honestly, there are things I can do that defy the logic of of mankind. I don't know how I do it. I don't know that I need to know how I do it. As long as I do it with a clear heart, an open heart, and without uh, without pushing my agenda on other people. With you listen, it's your choice. With I help you heal, it's your choice to accept. How I do it, I don't know. I just know it works. I've seen the results. And maybe in the future we will know more and this is old knowledge coming in knight of wands but at this point i don't have the words for it i don't have the i don't have the scientific explanations for it but it works so i accept it and i keep on looking for what's next because i know it's not stopped we're still growing we're still cho- we're still including new information constantly. So the last card is strength, and that is rising above our lower natures. And what would we be doing if we were not rising above our lower natures? We're moving from the third dimension to the fourth dimension, which is the dimension of nightmares and and evil hanging honors and good hanger honors and good dreams. But there's still, it's not the place we want to stop. There are a few people will stop there. Why? Because they're warriors and it will need to be cleaned up. Not me. I am not that warrior. I have done my warrioring. But uh, I am happy to move on to the third dimension. And I'm happy that I had a, I had a minor part helping the world become who it truly is. And helping the world become who it truly is. I helped you become who it truly, who you truly are. And it is my deepest pleasure to do that. I feel more alive when I'm doing that than any time at all. So this is one of my favorite cards, the Nine of Cups. It's the being on cloud nine, being happy. More importantly, it's the Wish card. And this is where I tell you, have fun, enjoy. And you notice there was a lot of joy and happiness cards in here. Enjoy yourself. Look after you first. 49% in service to self first. 51 in service to others second. But make, the, make a wish. Have fun with it. Enjoy it. It doesn't have to be logical. It can be for a Sunday ice cream on a Monday. All right. So I love you. Namaste, namasco, and you I do love.